once again, we have gone fishing here on Daytime Tri-Cities with our resident bass pro, David Mullins. David, trying something today I've done for striper fishing, but you say you can catch some largemouth on this. I can catch well. them, and it's probably bigger than the one you used striper right, fishing. Right, I was going about six inches on mine. You've got one here, it's about eight. It's a big silver spoon. And exactly. You, tell us the exact name on this. This is the Ben Parker Signature Series spoon. Uh, a friend of mine, that Ben Parker, makes mm -hmm. it he, out from West Tennessee. He's, he's originally from Kentucky Lake area. And he sent me some to try on Douglas, and they work. They work, and if you can see, it's a lot of teeth marks on this deal. Oh, yeah. um, and what it does, it, it, it pretty much triggers a bigger fish. You know, right. if, if you're having a problem, and if you want to get a really big bite, mm -hmm. at Douglas Lake, I caught some in that Southern Open on this deal. And a lot of times when I found those schools out there, the first cast I would make would be with this, because you, usually when you're coming through those schools, you can get a big bite early right. or quick. And this was my first cast. Because big fish like to eat big bait. Exactly, and it, it doesn't come much bigger than this right here. Uh, teamed it up with some 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 trailer hooks because the, the, a lot of times it's hard for them to get it right. because it's so big. But it does get big bites. So Ben Parker, those guys actually make trailer hooks for it that come on the top. Of course, a swivel to keep the line twist out of right. your line. And I, I will have to say you have to use extremely heavy tackle for this because I think it weighs over three ounces. So this is an eight foot rod. It's pretty much like a two by four. You're gonna get your workout when you're fishing. Exactly, this and a really high speed, heavy duty reel. And that's that was my setup at Douglas and, right. and caught some pretty good fish on it down there. Now, how do you fish this? Show us how you fish this real quick. Well, I'll explain it to you first. I'm gonna mm -hmm. throw it out there and mm -hmm. pretty much you're gonna reel it up about five times, right. much like you striper fishing. Right. And you give it a little hop and you just let it fall right back to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And it's the same repetitive motion over and over. And when they hit it, there's no mistaking what's going and on. And I found with the stripers, I don't know about the largemouth with the stripers, that second or third time when you let it drop and fall and you start reeling back, that's when you get those big hits. They will literally take the rod out of hand. Oh, yeah, they it. will. Let's, let's show the let's folks throw, how let's this throw, works. Let's throw a few. All right. So again, if we could throw a baseball like this thing throws, we'd probably make millions because you, you never go. know where it's going to end up. <laughs> So you don't want to make an extremely long cast because right. it's so much weight, and if you get a fish to bite on the end of the cast, it's hard right. to get him in right. because there's so much weight on this they can throw it. So I don't make a real long cast. I pretty much just lob it out there. When Once I find where the schools of fish are, I lob it out there. I free spool it to the bottom. So I let that line free spool right. all the way to the bottom. And once it hits the bottom, which is right there. And you can feel it. Yep, I just give it a hop like that. And okay. I let it flutter back to the bottom. I reel it real fast and just pull it. So the first time it hits the bottom, I, I hop it. The next time, all the way back to the boat, I reel it about four times real fast, and I'll pull it, I'll pull it up about three foot. And just continue with that, and they always hit it on the fall. On the fall. On the fall. So once They're completely different from stripers, because stripers will do it when you're coming off, exactly. off the bottom, and they're exactly. hitting it on the fall down to the fall. Exactly. That, that fall rate of that spoon, the way it flutters, that's mm -hmm. what triggers the bites. And you need to cont continuously keep that little bit of bow in your line. You don't want to let it fall completely slack. But just a little bit of bowling line where you can maintain what's going on and maintain, you know, and feel that bite. And if you're fishing this, you better be prepared because if it if you're fishing it all day long, it's going to be a workout. It is. It's very right. But again, you know, a lot of times when you find those schools of fish, right, the first cast of this is always going to land at your biggest bite of the day. All right, David Mullins, this is a unique way to catch big fish when you've gone fishing here on Daytime Tri Cities.